He was one of those guys, Jack, that was one of a kind. A couple of things about Gaylord Perry. First of all, how about the fact that he wrote a book called Me and the Spitter while he was still an active <laughs> pitcher in 1974. Here it is, boys. Here's what I do. But my story is really a David Cohn story. On the 1983 Royals, Perry was on their staff, and Cohn was rehabbing as an injured minor leaguer, and he would play catch with Perry. So he wanted Perry to teach him the spitter. He finally got up the courage to ask him, and Perry said no. Cone, we all know him, he was persistent. He kept asking him and kept asking him. And then essentially, Perry told him no by saying, you've got a mid-90s fastball. You've got a knee-buckling slider. You don't need a spitter. Your major league career, you're going to go through the front door. Somebody who threw a spitter like me, I'm kind of going through the back door, the back door to the Hall of Fame, by the way. So he taught Cone a lesson in that moment. Yeah, I think a Gaylord Perry and a guy who won over 300 games, you got to find a way to do it a little bit differently. The spitball was a big part of it, but I think the mental part of the game, too, when he was standing out on the mound and he would be touching <laughs> all these different, different parts of his body, making the illusion or giving the illusion that he was loading up the baseball. Just imagine being a hitter and you're looking in there and you're looking at all these different things that he's doing out on the mound. He would find a way to beat you. He did it for a long time and an amazing career and you just want to focus on hitting you want to look for a release point right you're not getting it because you're thinking what's he way well why is he touching his hair why is he yeah like Wade Boggs told me he said <laughs> look for that little window right by the right ear but when you're facing Perry you're thinking about all these different spots what's he doing you're complaining to umpires he probably took everybody's focus away from hitting the baseball well some folks might not know that he was the inspiration for the character of Eddie Harris in the movie Major League Perry was known obviously for his spitball we've talked about that he totaled 300 14 wins and in addition to his success on the mound he's also remembered for having incredible timing as part of a funny story in baseball lore in the early 60s after he debuted with the Giants Perry's first major league manager Alvin Dark once said that there would be a man on the moon before Perry could hit a home run and Dark turned out to be right on July 20th 1969 the module carrying Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin touched down on the moon at 1 17 p.m. Pacific time and later that same afternoon, Perry went deep against the Dodgers for the first of his six career home runs. After his playing days ended, he founded the baseball program at Limestone College in Gaffney, South Carolina, which is where he was living at the time of his passing.